at Clan War. And his opponent will be Bio Ice. All right, so let me just throw up the scores real quick. All right, there we go. Our green Terran player in the top right-hand corner of the map needs to start winning a lot of games in order to clinch this out for IGX. It is Broda. And his opponent helping his team continue on their way to a possible victory as we are on match point here, the purple Zerg from East Loth. It is Bioice. Shadowbite says, my main coon kitty Milo needs some friends. There we go, guys. Making cat nice, friends out man. here on the night. Is, no. <laughs> At least they weren't all mad for us taking a cat break. But you got to take cat breaks. That shit's important, dude. dude that should be a loading cats. tip. That's quickest way to get banned from the channel, son. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Don't be hating on kitties. Oh, God. We ruined the viewership. Did nah, it? man, that cat in the bag got us at least five viewers. And then when the big one came out, like, I love it. <laughs> what are you feeding that cat? <laughs> Dude, honestly, it's pretty funny. The smallest cat gets, like, chases that one around. Like, when it comes to feeding time, it's like some prison shit, dude. Oh, yeah, there's definitely a pecking order in your house. Is that what you're getting at here? Or what? Oh, yeah, yeah, man. It happens, man. I got one of those, too, in my house. A giant, giant pit bull gets bullied around by, like, a five-pound cat. It's fucking hilarious, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard, man. Your cat sounds pretty vicious. Yeah, she definitely runs the house, but the problem is she knows it, right? Like, if they run the house and don't know it, it's not as bad, but when they know they're in charge, uh, then you're kind of screwed, so. Yeah, man. So, uh, three hatch coming out of bio Ice here. Um, pretty bold, but... <laughs> Sweet lord, that's a puma. I told you guys, everyone was getting mad because we interrupted the cast to grab that cat, but wasn't it worth it? Like, that thing is giant, man. It's fucking ridiculous. The first time he busted it out, I thought it was like some weird illusion or whatever from the webcam, but when he kept getting closer, it just kept getting, like, bigger and bigger and bigger. The thing is <laughs> enormous. Sure. Uh, but yeah, back to a serious side of things. BioWise went with the gasless three hatch, so I, I really like that play. As long as he doesn't get caught too off guard by, like, Hellions or something, we'll have to see. And then on the other side of things, there it was just a Reaper expand from Broda, so... I don't know what's going on with OP's SD in the chat, but he's getting deep. Talking about non-moist, moist nuggets. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a level of memes that I don't even understand right there. This is a very good play, though, from BioIce in saving all those uh, drones, not letting him any, any of them fall to this Reaper. So I'd imagine he's going to cancel a lot of that. That was just to protect the drone, but it, it was still good saving those. More than I can ever manage, for sure. So. Yep. That Reaper gonna continue to poke in, keep an eye on the number of lings and drones being made at that third. Uh, we still don't see any gas come down from Bio Ice. So I gotta say, man, I really like this. It's a little bit of a deviation from the standard opener where you're getting speed quickly and, you know, yeah. maybe some banes or something like that. But it gives you, you know, three hatch so freaking quick, man. Zyclone B saying, I'm going to bed. Thanks for games. Good night. Good luck. Have fun. All right. Good night. Have fun. Thank you for the follow. We appreciate it, man. All the support tonight has been unreal. So. Uh, thank you very much. This Reaper's gonna jump down, though, and into the hands of these queens. He should be able to get it. Oh, it escapes with four health! Holy shit, man. That Reaper has seen some things. He's probably gonna withdraw him back. Uh, and behind this, Rota takes his third. So I guess he saw the triple expand and felt comfortable, comfortable enough to do a triple expand of his own, man. He's really gonna have to watch out for this flood, dude. Yep. Absolutely, man. That could spell his doom. But... Uh, that third CC, man, if it doesn't actually, like, if he doesn't, you know, take too much pressure and he stays alive, that third CC will start kicking in a little bit here. If nothing else, it'll allow this natural to get saturated that much quicker. Dude, I'm so sad. We had the opportunity to make the sickest cats out of the bag jokes ever, and we completely missed it. We're fucking amateurs, dude. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> he literally pulled a cat out of a bag, and we didn't go anywhere with that. Damn it, man. I feel like That's that was an extremely wasted opportunity. Uh, Broda having a three racks and one factory though, man. This is a pretty interesting build. Three CCs, three barracks, and a factory. I don't really know where this is headed, but I'm definitely excited to find out for sure. Yeah, man, for sure. When he does lift this third CC up, we'll have to, you know, keep an eye on that as well. Right now, it's just being used to populate that natural up. Yep. Taking a look at the upgrades here, actually, nothing has finished up for either player. Yeah. Um, speed is just about to finish now, but. Yeah, for sure. Broda's going with Stim, so he's probably going to uh, gear up towards some bio play. I mean, that was kind of obvious, given that he only dropped one factory, but we kind of knew it. And then on the other side of things, Bio Ice has, uh, bio Ice has his uh, Baneling Nest down, as well as double Evos. So he should be able to time out some nice upgrades. It's really going to come down to these drops, I guess, once they start rolling. So, Yep. Absolutely, man. Yep. 
I'm a little curious why Bio Ice has both these overlords in that same spot. There must be a reason for it. But I'm yeah, just I was waiting for some elevator play or something, but so yep. far it didn't happen just yet. So, As he is moving them now, uh, maybe he just wants to swoop one you know, a little bit further north so that he can see if any drops do move out of there. Yeah, but Bio Ice just took all six gas, so he's going to start teching up rather quickly here. I'm just waiting to see uh, what it's going to be. Still no layer just yet, man. Interesting. What the hell does he need all this gas for? The Bane Rolls of the Century? or Okay, so there goes the layer starting up just now. But yeah, you're right, man. It looked like he had these double overlords ready to do some drops, and it just didn't happen just yet, man. Yep. So. A bunch of new people joining us in chat. What's up, guys? Welcome to the clan war. Uh, we're on potentially the last game here if Isloth gets it, but IGX definitely has the ability to uh, win this. We've seen Broda bust out some insane play earlier in our, our first clan war of the day. So, Yeah, absolutely, man. Broda took the first two games of the best of seven in the f uh, first round that these guys played. So we know he has it in him. It was mostly TVTs, but um, uh, his TVZ is looking pretty strong now. The drop is making its way in. Fortunately, Bio Ice is much too on point. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he's definitely in the right position, but um, Broda will be able to come down here to the third, but there's a lot of queens waiting for this as well. He's going to be able to start picking off some medibacks if he's not careful. As one already falls, these Marines are going to be abandoned. Oh, they need to hop pick up. Nope. So they all go down. That was just very well handled, and he had a lot of queens there to deal with those medibacks. So on top of that, this creep spread is starting to get unreal too, as well as a macro hatch down. So these bane yep. rolls are going to be immense when they start flying, man. I'm pretty excited for this. Yeah, for sure. Bio Ice has done a really great job of just staying defensive, defending anything that Broda may be throwing at him, and it looks like he's taking that fourth now and gearing up for, you know, he's finally got his macro where he wants it to be, and now it's time to start producing units and pushing. Yeah, he's got, like, raised levels of production going on, though, man. Like, every uh, barracks has a reactor, and he's starting to push up into that really nice... Uh, bio play that he's got going on and he's about to finish up with uh, plus one as well So they are tied on upgrades, which I think is important uh, to keep an eye on here going into this Yep, how far is Bane speed from being done? All right, it's about halfway done. Yeah, so I'm uh, gonna have to bio ice is gonna have to stay back on his side of the map at least for a little bit longer We can see a medevac and some Marines coming out. This is more than likely to just clear creep I'm not sure we'll see this do any significant damage. Yeah, if he's not careful He's gonna be picked off by all these Queens. That is a hell of a lot of Queens right there, man. Sir. Almost got it close, but unfortunately he's not gonna be able to get it if he gets this wrap around though Okay, so he's gonna be able to pick it up and get him out of there um, But yeah, they are tied identical in supply. I think that's pretty badass Yeah, man, that is a wall Yeah, that's pretty ridiculous and look at the production <laughs> behind it There's three factories uh, pumping out constant units as well as a shitload of barracks So there's gonna be a nice engagement man. It's gonna come all down to those baneling rolls as we discussed earlier uh, Bane f speed is finishing up as well as plus two plus two is gonna finish up at the exact same time So I'm pretty ready for these baneling hits man. Yeah, me too. This is an insane amount of banelings This is always super frustrating to deal with when I play Terran. They just roll in you can Oh, he almost well got the run. Oh, oh I think that may just be enough as these lings and bands are going to come in. Depots do get raised, so they're going to have to crack through those. Possible. Okay, that mine goes down. That's a yeah, that was huge, man. Getting that surround was immense there. and got all the bio cleaned up. I thought he was going to attack into this, but I think seeing those mines made him uh, think that he should drop back and regroup a little bit. And so far, we have the muta switch going off, but there is a thorn play. Uh, we got 12 mutas being made right now, so that'll help out a lot, especially when combined with all these bane rolls. So yep. that was pretty nice pickup, dude. Yeah, man, that was a lot of uh, resources in Banelings, though, but that was a lot of expensive Terran units Yeah, uh, that did end up dying. Pretty much reset the entire Terran army there, and the creep spread is continuing to slowly... Yeah, it's make damn near it in Broda's base by this point, so it's impressive as hell, man. Oh, it's, is it going to see this drop, though? I think it just narrowly missed it. We'll check his vision. Still. No, yeah, he missed it. So maybe this drop can get in and find a little bit of damage. Uh, but behind this, these mutas have definitely found some. With 13 SCVs going down, uh, that Thor's going to be able to shoot him away, though. But they completely negated this natural mining back here. Yep. Broda on the back foot a little bit here as these mutalisks will come into the base and do what the Ling Bane cannot do behind that wall. Um, so Bio Ice doing a really fantastic job here of finding pressure, but also maintaining a, an army in case he needs to defend. 
Yep, absolutely. And I do like this as well, that he's going pretty heavy in mines. Broda is, as well as Thor. So he should be able to clean up a little bit of uh, this if he can get him planted. But he still doesn't have that fourth up and going just yet. And he's about to start mining out of the main. Uh, so he, he kind of needs to either find some damage or start uh, macroing up because it's 75 drones to 56 SCVs, man. That's going to spiral out of control here. And these Bane Rolls are going to be huge. Oh, nice. Yes, he lifted sir. up the mine and didn't let it trigger off on two Banes. That was a very good play. So it looks like Bio Ice is going to continue to spread creep as he sends a couple of units down here to deal with the Widow Mines, cleans all of them up, at least uh, the ones in those packs. Yeah, this is going to be a nice engagement, though. we got three Thors on the turn side of things to kind of help out a little bit, but that is a lot of Banelings, man. So if he can get a nice uh, like re uh, reach around, he should be pretty good here. Oh, yeah, bro. You gotta love the reach around. These meters are gonna I'm gonna be... Let, I'm gonna let chat roast you on that <laughs> one. I'm not even gonna go for it. <laughs> so, yeah, these mutalisks are uh, continuing to poke around the map. With the number of Thors out, though, they have to be extremely careful not yeah. to take a clumped-up shot. And the mines, too. Like, that mine hit we saw last night that wiped out 20 mutas. I definitely could see that uh, going down in this game, too, if, if Bio-Ice isn't careful. But it looks like he's paying very close attention to... Oh, as I say that, though, whew, that got close. Mm -hmm. That that clip from last night was hilarious, dude. I've never seen yeah. so many mutas go down. Like, that was insane, man. Oh, shit. That was a huge bailing roll, though. Getting that entire fourth base as well as a lot of SCVs with it. Seven going down. Yep. So, uh, dangerous times here for Zerg, though. I'm not sure that they want to attack into this. The oh. sheer numbers is actually going to do really well. The mutas are clumped up, and they are fighting Thors and Libs. But the power of Zerg, man, is they just crash through. Yeah, so it looks like the Lings are going to be able to punch through here. Where he will lose uh, superiority is in the air, though, it looks like. If these lives get unconverted, they'll be able to take out these mutas and a Thor joining the battle as well. So I think he's going to be able to walk away from this, man. That was a crazy-ass Baneling roll, but just unfortunately not enough. The one thing Bioice has going for him, though, is the upgrade advantage and the fact that because of his bank, he could remax uh, pretty well with a lot more Lings already in production. And plus, 3-3 three is about to finish up for both players, though. So what a crazy-ass game, man. Huge man, Zerg's numbers, the sheer numbers, I gotta say, um, are. I, I gotta give a slight favor to him. And he is on five bases, so he's gonna be able to take trades for longer here. But some unfortunate Widowmine shots could turn this game around completely. Yeah, exactly. That's the nature of Widowmines, man. They'll help out a lot, especially versus this Ling Bling heavy comp that he's going. So we'll have to see how these mines factor into play here. But he is able to uh, focus down on this economy from up here. I do like that play a lot. Very nice. Ooh, a couple of lings getting into the natural, or the second base at least, of Broda. Uh, that's going to be annoying and uh, frustrating for him to clean up. Yeah, for sure. And these mines are just taking out insane amounts of lings and blings. But this, as you said, he has enough to just continually remake behind this. Uh, the gas bank alone kind of tells a story. It was 1,300, 1,300 there for a while. But he just did a fat round of ultras. So let's see. I'm trying to find out. Kindness plating is started up as well. So he's going into his late game comp of ultras. And I think... That's going to be the end of the uh, the game here. We'll have to yep. see, though, man. Go I think ahead. just denying uh, that fourth constantly was huge from Bio Ice. So. Absolutely, man. So I need you to take over for just 30 seconds or so. All right, yeah, no worries. So uh, Broda is actually forced to do some long-distance mining out here. That fourth was denied for so long, as we discussed. The main completely mined out. I'd imagine the nat natural starting to go as well. Uh, so he really, really needs to get that fourth going to even stay into this game. Uh, but by the time he gets it down, he's going to be facing ultras with, uh, with um, kindness plating. So this game is definitely ramping up here. Yeah, the, the natural's all but out at this point. Third two almost. So he really needs to find some minerals or some damage either way here. Uh, but yeah, we'll have to see once these ultras pop. If he chooses to take the engagement, that is an insane amount of ultras. And honestly, I don't know if there's really any answer for it. Ultra's so, good unit. Yeah, man. a pretty good unit, especially with Kitness <clears throat> plating about to finish up any second now. Uh, 12 seconds, actually, our mod telling us. So, pretty nice, man. And uh, with the Liberator, you know, it's like a nerf, obviously. They got their damage reduced. It's not really talking about balance at all, but yeah, uh, their damage did get reduced, and that does affect how quickly they kill Ultralisks. So... That has become a factor as well with these number of ultras out. Yep, absolutely. And Bio Ice is playing this very well because while he's always doing this aggression, he's constantly running these lings back uh, into this fourth. He's going to deny it again, if not just outright kill it, man, because they have plus three, uh, plus three already. So they're going to put in work. Oh, he actually chooses to just avoid it. If he can get into this wall, that'll be even better for him, man. This is a huge run by, and he's forcing Broda to pull back all of his army. So, yep. 
Unfortunately, the depot does get raised, and, uh, okay, he will get up into the main. But a nice depot raise there from Broda, forcing those Lings to go back into the main Terran army and pretty much get carved up for, for free. Yep, absolutely. But now the altars are coming into play, man. That is an insane amount of altars. It's got queen support as well because that creep spread was so good. Uh, so I think we're about to have our final engagement here, man, and it's been a long time coming. Yep, absolutely, man. Yeah, we'll have to see if he can poke into this, man. That's a lot of bio, but I think with the Corruptors, he can negate all of the Liberators. Oh, and he's going to choose a little detour and completely wipe out this fort. Just a little a little snack on his yeah, way. Yeah, exactly, man. But these altars are just doing work. And as you said, the Liberators are trying to start taking him down, and I think three or four of them have already been dropped. Oh, wow, he's actually going to be able to clean this all up, dude. Holy shit. Where's your Liberator yeah. nerf now? Wow, yeah, a little bit of a sloppy engage there from bio ice. Um, does still have a big bank, though. Not so much on the gas, but this is really Broda's opportunity to pounce and try and win the game. Unfortunately, though, he is <laughs> going against a, uh, okay, not remaxed, but uh, a rebuilding Zerg army. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm not sure, man. I think because Broda doesn't have that fourth, he's not going to be able to remax as much. But Bio Ice is starting to run that out of his bank, too, because he went with such heavy units uh, that all got wiped out. So this is crazy, man. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, people leaving the game, it scared me. I thought we were lagging up again. Uh, but yeah, I do like that Bio Ice has just been constantly shutting down this fourth, man. Broto really doesn't have the economy. It's kind of grinding to a halt here. And he's trying to get it out again. Uh, but there's still more links just to come to harass it instantly. That's been every time now, so. Yep. Absolutely, man. Uh, Shishinlong, thank you very much for the follow, man. Appreciate that. Yep. Man, look at the number of vultures. They're just continuing to pour out, but... I don't know, they've been cleaned up before, so I'm not going to say it's a good game, but there is a pretty healthy number of Ultras going on. Yeah, I think the problem in that last engage was he didn't have anything to supplement the Ultras. Yeah, like, like some veins the... or something? Yeah, or yeah. Lanes, just yeah. something to get the wrap around or do the damage to take some of the burden off of the Ultras. Yep, absolutely. Um, Bio Ice starting to mine out as well, having to come down and take another base down here. So uh, I think the importance of Broda's base out here is becoming increasingly important, and he knows that. Like, he really needs to hang on to this base. Uh, he's starting to dry out pretty much everywhere else. The natural's completely gone almost. The main is gone, and the third is about to finish up too. So I, I really think it's all going to come down to this fourth of Broda's. So. Yep. Absolutely, man. Yeah, look how many altars that is, dude. That's just ridiculous. Eight of them so far with Chitinus and plus three, plus three. So. Pretty strong army indeed, sir. Oh, they're calling me out because I said, where's your lips now? It was just a joke, guys. We're talking shit about the nerf. It was... <laughs> I'm only kidding. I'm not balance whining or anything. <laughs> that was ultra sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it was crazy how fast they died, man. I'm not going to lie. Like, balance whines aside, that was pretty nuts. They did have chitinous, too, and they just got destroyed. But as I said, that was a uh, plus three, plus three bio and single target. So that's what happens when you're plus three, plus three Terran, dude. So. You see what happens, Larry. Yeah. This is what happens. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this is turning into a crazy-ass game. We were talking shit about the 20-minute game prior, but we're off to another one, man. This is pretty nice. Uh, the oh, the pains! Oh, yeah, I'm so glad you said something because I was about to miss him coming in. Oh, they're going to get picked off, though, before they find any damage, but now this bio is sandwiched between Banes and a hard place. Oh, again, though, those altars just getting completely destroyed. Uh, there's too many now this time, though. I thought he was going to clean them all up again, man. Those first couple just got focus fired down insanely fast. And this is where you have to be careful with your ultra list, where you don't have anything to buffer for them. There's marauders wailing on you. This is awkward. Some infe uh, in or some fungal oh. growth could be huge here. Nice. He gets one off on the liberator at least. Does the bio catch it too? Oh! I don't think he has. Okay, yes. yeah. That fungal on the bio pretty much sealed the deal, and now they're all going to be able to get cleaned up by these altars. We've got the queens. Uh, coming in as well to help out with these liberators and the corruptors just like that bio ice will take game number four and east will take